about this is very important because through my market research and just observation and following many artists especially those that are in Africa I've noticed there's something that is missing that might be the determining factor of you maybe uh, not reaching that next level um, as fast as you wish and that can create a little bit of a frustration really to to uh, the work that you've been putting in, the money that you've been spending, and, and all of this. So today's show, I have nine points. I have nine points that I feel like are the most important, even though it should be 10 really, but I'm speaking from a perspective of at least uh, thinking that the audiences, the audience that I'm trying to, to reach and talk to have at least published themselves because that's the most important thing in becoming, uh, in setting yourself up to, to becoming more professional is it's, it's publishing your music so that people can actually start here and, and uh, discovering you and becoming your fan. And uh, I understand, unfortunately, this for, for most artists in Africa, for the lack of knowledge and resources and finances, or uh, mostly just lack of information, you know what I'm saying? Um, they are only limited to certain platform. Uh, the number one being YouTube, which is great, but as a musician, you want your stuff to be on all of the streaming platforms uh so that you can start building a fan base because after all your product your number one product product is audible is not visual and um that can get kind of complicated for a lot of artists as far as uh trying to establish the the the, the image and the professionalism and that can be limiting in quote unquote your progression and getting discovered and uh, you know they are already talking about us there's an article that just came out last week that that talks about how the numbers with african artists are just have went up by 500 percent like on apple music or on spotify or all the streaming platforms so there's really tons of opportunities out there for you artists out there i know there's been a lot of frustrations amongst artists as far as uh, this change to the digital world, it became very hard for a lot of artists, especially in Africa, where the limited amount of uh, internet and, 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 um, and resources and finance to be able to sell themselves and to be able to benefit from their music. But the benefit of the internet is that it created more income for branding yourself, for selling your music, it's just that 
you need to get to the know-how. So with that said, we're gonna jump on to our number one point, which is um, content creation, content creation. You are more, you really are more than music, you know? You really are more than music and you have to use your whole persona, your whole acting, your whole uh, um, swag, if you will, to, to give the audience that you are trying to, to win over um, something to, to, to follow you by. And in, in return, they're gonna, they're gonna like your music. So it's not about, a lot of people, who maybe some artists might get interested and think that, okay, people will like them, people will follow them because of their music. No, that is, that is, that is not, that is not true at all. You know, maybe back in the days, you know what I'm saying? When when Michael Jackson and they were coming out, talent mattered in today's world. You know, business mattered, hard work mattered, and music, your talent is just is just what people are gonna finally uh, realize. Oh, he's a you know, we can give them our ears. We can give they can give you their ears. You know, so content creation, you have to make sure. To, to post on your social media, even if you don't have music out, you know, take professional pictures and take uh, professional looking videos, which this is something uh, I understand might get expensive, but um, you know, you guys uh, spend money on all the things anyway. So you might as well, you have to start switching that mindset of seeing yourself as a business first. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't want to go into details with a lot of the stuff that I want you guys to know and learn because it's going to take me forever. So I'm really just going to jump through uh, this nine point very fast and this is my very first show and as I'm growing, I'm going to have specific, uh, specific show on each each and every one of these points, you know, so that I can break it down in detail, like content creation, uh, I'll have a show on, on what it actually means, and how, how you can actually create content, and how to post, when to post, why you should post, and all of this. So, so just uh, for the sake of uh, you, know, you knowing what content creation is, or how to, to go about it, just make sure you are posting at least five times a day. You know what I'm saying? Even if if you don't have over 100K followers, you know what I'm saying? You have to post, 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 post. And that's how the internet itself is going to help you build up the momentum. And then um, by putting out great content, people are gonna eventually start discovering you and uh, getting to know who you are. Uh, our number two point, is to explore your, your your uniqueness. What do I mean by that? You know what I'm saying? Like I me mean, right now, I'm wearing these gloves. You know what I'm saying? You might be wondering why why is this guy wearing these gloves? Is it, where is he? Is in Canada or what? Where is he? Is in Russia or what? What's up? You know? Because it's something that maybe I'm I'm in front of a TV right now. I wanted to be a part of my act, or just I wanted to to come out of here and maybe make you guys wonder. You know what I'm saying? And that's something unique. And uh, you have to embrace that. You have to work, you have to embrace being unique with your image and your sound. You know what I'm saying? Be authentic. Do not be afraid to be different. You know what I'm saying? One thing for sure is, is we've been playing copycats since we were babies. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just how society raise us to be, you know what I'm saying, to, to think that's the, that's the normal thing. But I will tell you right now, that is no way of life, you know what I'm saying, that is no way of living. Look around, I can give plenty of example uh, of artists such as uh, like Burna Boy for instance, you know what I'm saying, he's one of the biggest artists right now in Africa, in the world. Uh, doing big things, selling out great big venues is because he's unique with how he presents himself both with his sound and his image you know and how he perform and uh, somebody else like uh, Maitre Gims for example 
he's unique in the fact that, you know what I'm saying, he's always one in shape since we've been seeing him on screen. You know what I'm saying? There's almost no picture of him without a shade on. So those are some of the few things that you can do in, uh, in, in, in remember trying to be unique with yourself. Number three on our list is collaboration. It's very important to collaborate, guys. It's very, very important to collaborate. I know artists are very sensitive people. You guys are HSP. You know, we all are. Everybody's trying to, you know, we all have that, that, that ego. And uh, with artists, it's, 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 uh, it's a little bit more, you know? And sometimes that might get in the way of you reaching out to, to somebody who's maybe been in the game uh, longer than you and trying to to uh, to collaborate with them. I see that a lot, especially with African artists, but the secret of the American music success, 100%, almost 100% lies within the fact that they collaborate with each other. You know what I'm saying? And African artists, we need to do better at this. You know, we really need to do better at collaborating. As, as a proof, um, you can see uh, the result of some of the artists that that understand this or that are understanding this coming out of Africa that are already uh, knowing the importance and the value of collaborating and what it can bring to, to their business and their brain. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's one of the key success for, for, for Nigerian artists. For now, you, we've seen um, Tanzanian artists doing the same thing uh, South African artists is doing the same thing and um, some of these other countries in Africa they really need to start collaborating with each other and in return you are all elevating your culture you are all bringing your cultures up especially on the global scale especially knowing that moving forward uh, African music is the global music of the future that everybody's going to be consuming you know what i'm saying that that is prophetic guys um number four on our list is marketing 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 what is it you know what i'm saying this is a word that that really gets uh missed missed uh, understood or misinterpreted because everybody has their idea especially with the social media nowadays but i really wanted to come and define what uh, marketing is to you guys. Simply put, it's the process of getting people interested in your company, in your company's products or services. You know what I'm saying? Because you are a business, you are, you are a company. And marketing is, is you trying to get people to buy into you. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, you have to really be uh, an expert at this because this is the key this is the number one key that determine success for for anything it's not just uh, in the music industry for every aspect of business marketing is the key that is the reason why advertising costs to, so much money which is a, a part of uh, marketing or marketing strategy, you know what I'm saying? Don't uh, a lot of people, like I said, misinterpret this word. And like I said, I will talk about this topic in detail in the upcoming video. So be sure to to look out for that video because um, I I really want to break it down for you guys so that you know what I'm saying you can start seeing results because I know a lot of artists out there. Um, get frustrated for not seeing results and it's due to your marketing it's due to your marketing and stop confusing marketing and promotion or or or, or social media presence or whatnot you know what i'm saying you have to put yourself together to content creation to being unique to uh collaborating and then you can start putting your marketing strategy in place so that people can start connecting with you and um, you start reaching that visibility which in turn will determine your success. With that said, number five, 
number five on our list is to record yourself. What do I mean by that? Record yourself. I'm saying this because um, it's part of content creation, right? And recording yourself, especially in Africa, for those artists that are in Africa, can get very expensive in it, even in today's world. But it's not something that is special anymore because the way people were recording in 1960 is not the same. You know, there are numbers of songs that have gone number one on today's top list, like from artists like Rihanna who whom record Umbrella uh, on her phone, you know? So, I talk to artists that, that I, in Africa, I go, oh, no, you know, we have to get into the studio. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I understand it, it's something that a lot of people don't understand in Africa and, and, and they, they put it on a pedestal that is higher than what it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Because it's this product that, you know, that, that makes people famous and then people feel like, oh, you know, it's something special. But you can really record yourself very inexpensively uh, by setting up a studio um, if you have the means to get a computer, you know, to get a microphone, to get an interface. You can start from there and start recording yourself. You know what I'm saying? Even from your phone. You, you, like I say, you, you guys really need to educate yourself on a lot of these things so that when you get next level, you know what I'm saying, you will already have this professionalism mindset that people will respect you for. Not only that, by recording yourself, even as an independent artist, even starting out, you, it allow you to keep putting out content, which was the number one on our list, you know what I'm saying? American artists do this all the time, they, they understand this, you see artists that nobody even knows about, and you go on the Spotify, they, they have over 50 songs in like a span of like two years from the time they were published, you know what I'm saying? So it's key, and it, it can also create passive income for you at, in, at the same time, because while you're doing these other things, your fan base are, are building up and you're getting that stream and that is money in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Why, why not get, keep getting that money? And why not learn this art and that can generate more money which you can put into your marketing and keep building yourself eventually until you get that one, that one thing that, that will skyrocket your career to the next level. Number six on our list is do not, do not, I repeat, do not make an album that would not help your career at all. Why do I say this? Because you simply do not have enough fan, enough following at this point to, to put out a, a big project. It's overwhelming for your team. It, it will eat your budget, it will frustrate you, you and you will feel like you, you, you didn't do anything. Instead, if you have songs already because you will be creating content, you will be recording yourself, you can use, you can use it to build a momentum for the type of artist that you are or the type of artists you will be. You know, and uh, so at this point in your career, if on streaming platform like Spotify or on your Instagram, or like on Spotify, if you you have less than less than twenty thousand, less than fifty thousand, less than a hundred thousand, you know, monthly follower, there's no reason for you to have an album out. Just doesn't make sense. There's no reason for you to have an album out at this point. It does not make sense. It will not help you. You know, until until you have that one single that will take your career from here to here, you should not think about creating an album. Even when, when you have the when you have the one single that that brings you out on the international platform, 
and you start booking this show, you start traveling the world, then from that point, you start counting three years to five years for you to release your first album. It is, that is the math. I did not come up with this number, the expert that I follow, the effort, the expert that I've studied over the year, research, that is their secret. And they will tell you that. You see a lot of these artists that come out, you know what I'm saying? Um, they, they don't drop an album right away. You know, they work on their singles, 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 they got to do the network. You see an album from them. With that said, we're gonna jump into our next point which is to stop playing useless pointless show shows are very important for your career because it will help you book more more shows but it is the thing that when you as you, you are performing you have to have a team that that understand where you're trying to go first so that you can utilize your performances for your image and your content creation so that you, you get to that level where um, you start reaching out to booking agency you will have uh, stuff to show them you don't want to just show them a performance that that you know that that was that was not up to a good standard you know what I'm saying if you have to pay for show it's okay to pay for you know what I'm saying? You should probably spend money on at this point in your career. Um, is if you're making good music, even before making videos for it, I would say, you know, if you can get on a good show, if you can even pay, you, if you have connection to to like open for a major artist, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna cost you like 300 bucks or whatever, as long as it's a good show and you know people will be there jump on it, you know, as, and if you have a good, especially a good um, f video team that will capture those images and you keep using that for your content, for your for your social media and, and building up and creating um, your electronic press kit, it will take you to the next level and there are tons of resources uh, worldwide where you can get paid to perform. And uh, you know what I'm saying? If you, you have a team, you have the management that can that can put together that that, that will see your vision uh, from from your music and and your persona and and you guys start working toward this. This is the, those these are the nine the nine keys that would that that are the stepping stones for reaching that next level that every artist is should follow and uh, number eight number eight is to offer more value what do i mean by offering more value uh do more be versatile you know what i'm saying make music for for yourself do what you like do do be the brand that you are be the business that you are be creative you know what i'm saying offer raffle to your fans invite your friends to to take part uh, in, in your lives, you know, repost them, you know what I'm saying? These are the things that, that you know, that, that's gonna, gonna make people want to, to post you, share your music, follow you, talk about you, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, you, at, at this point uh, in your career, you really don't want to be a very sensitive person. I have this ego that every artist has have uh, for now, allowing your friend to partake in, 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 in what you were doing just because you felt like you shot a video and you published it, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if your video or the song that you, you produce are not being watched or are not being streamed, you know, uh, you, you, you're still an amateur, you know what I'm saying? Because like I say, that, that means that you are not doing the most important thing for your career, which is marketing and collaborating and uh, uh, recording yourself and allocating uh, your budget to to the right department of your business. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing that the artists out there need to, to, to start thinking about is being an artist 
and being the published artist is two different things. The published artist, you need to shift your mind to start thinking that you are a business because your ultimate goal, obviously, is to start making money. And um, without the know-how, without doing these nine things and perfecting it and being consistent with it, uh, you will see your, your career go around in circle. Number nine and the last point on my list is to be entertaining. Be more than talent. Give your audience what they want. Be an open spirit, you know what I'm saying? Through your dancing, through your acting, you know what I'm saying? This is, cause you are this brand and eventually artists, musicians, uh, anybody that's a celebrity, they end up becoming actors. You know, so this is where you you can be creative before you even get discovered. You know what I'm saying? Uh, offer your your fans some skit that you 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 just create, or uh, or being on on live doing some comedies and, and doing some 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 TikTok dance, doing some some choreography. Those are the cool things that that will keep people on the edge of their seat. To watch you and to be interested in you, to eventually start sharing you, liking you, following you, subscribing to you, and which all of this would eventually translate to Mula. You know, so I hope you guys, I hope I didn't go too fast. I mean, this, this, I can go into detail and I will go into detail with a lot of, with each and every one of these points that I just talked about. I will have a video for each each of these points that will go more into detail. Be sure to to look out for it. Subscribe so you don't miss you don't miss out on on, 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 uh, on when our videos are coming out. Uh, you you'll be getting that notifications. Um, um, and yeah, uh, you guys, please give me a credit. You know what I'm saying? Give me a credit. This is my first time uh, being. On, on TV like this, uh, being in front of the camera, doing this for you guys, you know what I'm saying? saying and I wanted to give you guys something that that's gonna be pleasing for your eyes and that you, so that you can keep following me and watching me and sharing me and, um, and learning from me. Uh, uh, I have a business, I don't just do this for fun. Uh, come to record, it's an actual business that you can look up um, the state level and they will tell you that I'm an active business and I'm not just here to play, you know, I, I'm a business and I'm here to make money and uh, my YouTube channel is to give you guys free game but I have a lot of other services that I provide for artists that are not free so so be sure to reach out to me if you feel like what I'm talking about can be valuable to you you know what I'm saying I do I do music contract I do music management artist development show performances show production um, I do this show and uh, I'm an entrepreneur I'm a creative I'm a, I'm a creative I'm a, I'm a dad and uh, yeah so I just wanted to give a shout out to all my ones. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All my ones. Starting out with Jungle Flavors for sponsoring this show. And um, House of Flavor for also sponsoring this show. Come to record, of course, for putting this show together. And my wife, Madame Shoko, for being my partner. And um, my boy Kiss Baby, exclusive. Uh, Papa Bakala, Junior Map. Tine Gamora, Wizzy Fresh, uh, Joseph Passois, uh, Cedric, Cedric uh, Makela, who else? Freddy Boutera, François Paris, Blandis Moussa, Redi Amici, uh, El Magnifico in LA. Uh, thank you for, for pushing me, for pushing me into getting to this uh, and for, for supporting me, first of all, with your advices and, and uh, telling me that, hey, you know what I'm saying, this is the thing that, you know, you are natural in doing. 
and I started this business to make money because I see the potential and maybe I have some secret information that you guys might not know. But I'm here to stay and I'm here to build a brand, uh, an international recognizable brand one day. And this is prophetic, you know, this is prophetic. We'll be looking at this image in the future. And I told you, I told you, I told you. So thank you again and thank you for making this show a success. Let's take a shot to that, you know. Let's take a shot to that, you know. And uh, hasta luego.